to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience? We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job! Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done! Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job! To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done! You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. your parts and services task. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job! 
Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. Avoid inhaling the Chemi Spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job! Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Looks like Chica needs another dose of the Chemi Spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Place the cupcake on the plate. Great job! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Delicious. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done! Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job! It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job! To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face.
That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job! Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no! It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done! The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number 2 and number 4. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job! Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number 3. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done! This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened.